Beloved in Christ, I heartily welcome you to the moment the Lord has paved for your appointment, for your breakthrough, for your attainment, for your direction, for your upbringing and in all ramification of your life because this day the Lord has mapped out you are gladly going to receive it with great impact in your life because for you to be here is not an accident but it's an opportunity lord i pray upon the swans i pray upon the lives the family all the endeavors lord may you continue to empower strengthen them from glory to glory they shall show her all the works of their hand lord may you continue to bless each of them like you did in the old in the life of your disciples lord may you visit each and every one of them according to your riches in glory so that whatever their heart there is shall be given to them lord may you give them the spirit the grace to heed to your world implement it that is our goal here let them put it into practice and always take the word of god serious like their life depend on it lord may you continue to embed your word in them continue to instill that word of light direction in all their endeavors so that they will be able to see light at the end of every tunnels of their life lord bless the works of their hands so that the end your name alone will be highly exalted now forevermore in my brethren i am happy to be in our midst today you opportune and please i want to give us this i want to tell us that you should endeavor to listen to the word of God to the end. If you're really touched by the word of God, make sure you're listening to the end because whatever sermon that is sticked out here for you is for your reason. So get some read, understand, and put implement in the life. You're not here for jamboree, rather, we're right here to propagate and implement the word of God in our lives. Okay, veteran. Here we have another topic is reserve the anointing for enthronement. You're in throne already. Brethren, you are in tune already. Hear the wise word of God. Through the Bible, people were anointed with oil to signify the blessing of God or divine call. Divine call, you find this in the book of Exodus 29, verse 7, Exodus 40, verse 9, 2 Kings 9, 6, Ecclesiastes 9, 8, and James 5, 14. Okay, oil in itself does not have any power. It is only a symbol. It is only God who anoints person for a specific, a specific purpose. And this year is the year of divine enthronement. We know the anointing of God to be enthroned for success. When the anointing from heaven falls on you, the chain of barrenness, joblessness, sickness, poverty, bondage, it is in your life will be broken. Isaiah 10 to say, Why the one on my screen said, It shall come to pass in that day that his bottom will be taken away from your soul. So I'm sure the and it's yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Uh, you need to be anointed in order to be entered because it took the anointing power of anointing power of God for Jesus to be enthroned. After Jesus was anointed, he received an excellent and glorious name, Christ. Hebrew 1 4. To be anointed means to be divinely empowered to the work which only you cannot do. In the life of Blessed Virgin Mary, after she received the message about her conception from Angel Gabriel, she humbly asked, How can it be possible since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be filled with the power of God. Also, that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Look, you can find this in Luke, verse 1 to Verse 1 to 26 to 37. The power of God has a solution to all the impossible cases in your life. Let me remind you that everyone that sincerely asks from God must have the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you cannot live above sin. And not only that, you cannot exercise your divine mandate on the enemy. Holy Spirit will enable you to seal the manifestation of the blessing of God in this year of enthronement. My beloved, be filled with the Holy Spirit so that He will rain His blessing upon your life. Yes. He will protect you from all evil and take charge of your parts. So if you will let the Holy Spirit into your life, He will fill you with the power and make you live a successful life in Christ. Jesus, amen, brethren, that is His plan for you. If you allow the Holy Spirit, like Hebrew 1 4 said, be made so much better than the angels, as they had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Brethren, what are you doing for you to be enthroned? 
you need the oil of God, like Jesus. You know, every experience in our life came as a result of Jesus. Jesus came to pay the price for us so that we can see through His, through Him to survive. Like we look up to pastors, we look up to sisters. It has been it has been given to us before our palms. You know, we all are too fascinated by the things we see with our eyes. But we can't behold that. We can take our time to study which is the word of God. Jesus came to pay the price. When I'm saying pay the price, the thing is I'm not only paying the price. He has came to show you the way, but you thought to see. He was anointed for him to be able to crown, to be enthroned for greatness. But let's take Acts 1 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Yes, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, we all have the gift of the Holy Spirit. But to those who believe, you shall receive if you really accept God as your Lord and personal Savior. How do you gladly receive the Holy Spirit? Many of us claim to have it, it's a life being given to those. Who knows God? If he really knows God, the Holy Spirit automatically is in you. But really build up yourself to the line of God and make it useful. When you start speaking, your own start manifesting, that is when that immovable, that anointed, that the Lord has sealed, that seal the Lord has embedded in you, shall never left you. What am I trying to tell us is that? you are for signs and wonders i keep telling all this once the holy spirit has come on you the holy spirit will take you out of your bondage the holy spirit will make you from where it has descended on your bedroom you start doing the unimaginable just like jesus christ he was anointed by water but after all god anointed him this is my own belief god in so isn't it brethren before he went to the wilderness where the devil wants to try his best to kill himself but what really happened at the end you see jesus once this time he started doing the works the father has sent him to do what are you think in this brethren you are for signs and wonder people are meant to look on you you are you are you are sent for your reason you are sent to touch the lives of your neighbor your brothers your sister those out there looking upon you some lives are head captives before because of you start up pray let the anointing of God descend on you. We are the era of the Holy Spirit. Sunday, yesterday, marks the day the Holy Spirit descend on the saints. Those who believe. For those who did not know, those who just received, because they saw at the end, at the later on, you know, when Peter, Paul, go propagating the gospel of the Lord, the Gentiles who saw what they're doing was overwhelmed and believed in God. And lo and behold, it was given to them. The disciples were like, oh, ah, so if the Holy Spirit can be given to these people too, that means that our Almighty God does not segregate, which is true. Friends, John, John chapter 1, verse 12 to 13, but as many as receive him, to them he gave the authority to become children of God, to those who believe into his name, who we are begotten of God. Yeah, he gave authority to those who believe. See, you can't stand from nowhere. You come out and start preaching the gospel when you're not led and you're not filled. Yes, you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You need to have this pushing spirit. This Holy Spirit needs to push you. That nothing you have been ordained for yourself. When the time comes, the Almighty God will prove himself in your life. You just find it difficult to do what you're supposed to do, but you have the passion of the word of God. Keep going. Whatsoever thing you do in life, put God first and you see him. Pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. You are a daughter of Zion, of your signs and wonders. You can hold hands on someone and person become healed. You can raise the dead from back to life. You can do signs and wonders because it says signs and wonders shall follow them who believe. Brethren, you stick to the word of God. Luke eleven thirteen said, If you then do you even know what how to Give good how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father in heaven give holy spirit to those who ask if our father here in it who have the darkest heart and i just put it over because to compare with that in which we're asking god because many of us in our day of waiting or asking god with faith 
we give up. We are not steadfast. We are not consistent because that is how it is. It is not. To serve the Lord, you prove yourself. You will show that I am in Him. There is no going back. He needs to see your faithfulness. He needs to see that He has embedded in you. He wants to know if this is my daughter or my son, Bedwin. You have given the power of entry on me to walk in favor and the glory of God because the light has shined in you. You are for signs and wonder. Hold it with faith. Work with it and embrace it. Take the time. Study. Implement. Listen to motivational. Read the book. Work it out, brethren. Work it out and see what the Lord has for you. At times, we are the reason for our starvation. We are the reason of our stagnation. We are the reason of our penury. You need to stand and make things right, okay? The Lord has best to doubt on you. The way you see towards it has been the has been the reason why you've been depressed. Ask for God, walk in it, and you see yourself becoming who you never think of. You see your new version, brethren. That I urge us. I want to encourage us that we should ignite our faith with that of God. Allow God to use you. Disassociate yourself from sin. Walk in right. Walk uprightly in the line of God and see His plan for you. I want us to read this revelational prayer, okay? Revelational prayer, revelational prayer for the divine entry. May hold your hand on your chest and claim it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, do the sign of the cross and enter in the covenant of all round divine entry. May with God's favor, fruitfulness, blessing, and victory in consonant with the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. I claim. Divine instrument, everything I do this year because with God there is no impossibility. The Bible says in the book of Acts, verse 1 to 8, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Lord, I have received your word of faith, and I believe that I am filled with the Holy Spirit by faith, and I can speak in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave me utterance. I confess that I am filled with the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit to do His good for divine accomplishments every day of my life. Therefore, Lord, I meditate and I claim your word of sources over my life. I profess that I'm like a tree planted by the river of water whose leaves do not fade but bring forth fruits and it says and I claim the anointing of divine enjoyment to prosper in mind, body and spirit. Let the anointing of the divine enjoyment be released upon me to become blessings of people. I'm prospering in my job marriage and all the aspects of my life in agreement with heaven and the word of God. In Second Corinthians 8 9 I declare that I will no longer suffer the bondage of wretchedness. I reject poverty in his entirety as a child of God. As a child of the Holy Spirit, my life is above satanic bondage, such as sickness, infirmity, abject poverty, barrenness. I boldly confess that the Holy Spirit is providing all my needs according to his riches and glory. My entire personality radiates the fullness of God. This is because my life is filled with the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Just as you sent your word in the days of the old and healed the sick, please send forth your word again upon my life so that I will connect to your kingdom of divine enjoyment and experience your healing. Blessing and miracle every day of my life this year and forevermore. Amen. So shall be your case in Jesus' name. Claim it, personalize it, and see what the Lord has for you. All right, beloved, continue to consist and meditate, meditate in the word of God because the Lord has a good plan in stock for you, okay? I used to remain the daughter of Zion, angel for you, okay? Do very well to always tune into your transforming message, okay? Bye for now.